Well, first of all, I'm very happy it exists. If I've got my memory right, I think it's been going for about 40 years, I think. Back then, there was absolutely a need for it. Fast forward to now, things have absolutely improved since then. But, you know, you, you'd be fooling yourself. You didn't think there were still issues that need to be addressed, as was exemplified last year. The way in which it matters to me most, and I don't know if this is a progression as I've gotten older and so my views have changed. Uh, but I think I like the fact that people are finding out that black history includes a pre Windrush history, that black people were in this country before Windrush and that there was a black presence. I'm not necessarily saying a big presence, but there was a black presence in this country definitely as far back as Tudor times and possibly um, even further back than that. I read somewhere that there has been many more black students now actually electing to go to university to study history as a direct result of, let's say, David Olasoga and uh, Dr. Nubia and other people that, that, that people know about. So I think that's really good. I, I think if everybody, not just black people, realise that black history is part of British history and that it has a much longer presence in this country than 1948 when the Empire Windrush landed, then uh, that I think would be a, a very, very good thing. I think it's important that it's celebrated by everybody. That's one thing. I think it's particularly important that it's um, celebrated and, and given its due place in schools, because I think particularly for impressionable young minds, that is really, really important that it reflects the, the contributions of black people in the UK currently and historically in lots of fields apart from the fields of entertainment and sport, which is the sort of automatic um, go to's that people have go, go towards. And even within those areas, how people have excelled. Uh, so I think it's, it's good that everybody can know that there was a pre Windrush presence of black people in the UK that is documented. You can go to museums and find this out. You can go to the British Library and find it out. There are books on it, it that it actually is documented. Black Victorians, Black Edwardians, all that kind of stuff. So it, I think it's really important that people know that. that. It should be more widely known than it is. But I do understand that certainly in schools, they're trying to get that taught in a, in a wider way. Well, I would like to see more black women, black people generally, but I suppose black women in particular in the legal profession um, at all levels, at all levels. Barristers, solicitors, um, uh, you know, I, I think the current um, president or chair of the Law Society is a black woman, actually. So um, Stephanie Boyce. So that is amazing, actually. Absolutely is. Um, so I'd, I'd like to see at, at, at all levels and particularly when it comes to the judiciary to increase um, the numbers of um, black people generally, black women in particular in the judiciary, because the numbers are shockingly low. And then once people do apply, to encourage them to stay and progress as far as they want. I'm very happy sitting part time because there are other things I'm doing as well. That may change, um, but there are people who do want to sit full time and I hope that they get the opportunity. When I was first starting out, I would have loved to have seen a black person or, or any person of colour on the bench. And I didn't see that. Um, for a long time ago, at school or at university, nothing like that. My goodness. And what a difference it would have made. When I was really thinking about my professional life and how I wanted to, to go going forward, when during COVID, everyone had those big soul searching moments, I knew I wanted to write and I knew I wanted to be a judge and I wanted to carry on doing kind of voluntary things that I liked, like speakers for school. The one thing I did want to do was to whatever little role I could play increasing judicial diversity um, that's, and that's diversity across the piece. I am particularly interested in ethnic diversity, but diversity across the piece because it is in, it is definitely improving with regards to women. But in all other markers. I'm not saying there isn't improvement, but it's glacial. So uh, anything that I could do to improve that, that was something that I really wanted to um, play a part in doing. When the time comes that I have to step down from the bench, which is a, a long time yet, but when that time comes, I'd like to know that there is a critical mass of people coming up behind me. So, and other black judges that sit would also like to know that, so.